test for the alar ligament and it's called the alar ligament stress test uh, so the way that i do this is you're going to come and find the mastoid and then come down and find your c1 transverse process and you need to let your patient know that you're going to be wrapping their arm around their head or at least that's how i have to do it and so mastoid and C1 transverse process, and then come down and find the C2 transverse process. And what you're gonna try to do is block it. And so then what you do is you rotate their head, no side bending. And what you should feel is that they go into a little bit of motion, but that it stops. Like there is tension as you go that way. And then you would switch and go to the opposite side so that way you could assess both sides right and left and look at how much difference there is in the motion. But if it feels like there's more motion on one side than the other, that is a positive test. This test has really good sensitivity. The specificity isn't quite as strong and strangely, it has better sensitivity on one side than the other. But this is a test to do, it's a good test to do. It takes a lot of practice to do well and to really block those structures, but um, certainly something if you're concerned about instability of the C1, C2 joint that I would consider doing.